Welcome. Today is 25th of January 2018. We are coming to the end of the month of January, which is perceived by many people to be very difficult. Today we will discuss about technology, specifically about satellites or adoption of satellites in Africa. Most African countries are competing to make sure that they launch satellites onto space. Already there are seven countries which have set their satellites on space. That is in the World uh, Satellite Station. These countries have launched, some of them have launched more than one satellite onto space and Kenya is one of them which is one of the, those countries we will join them soon. Um, engineers from the University of Nairobi in cooperation with Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency are building a small satellite which is 10 centimeter cubic uh, nano satellite which will be soon launched. By, actually by March it will be launched from the United States into the space station. Uh, Japanese, this Japanese agency provided them with the funding, which, is, which was one or two million, and also a platform for construction of that uh, satellite. The satellite will be used to monitor farming trends, to monitor Kenya's coastline, and many other things which it will monitor. So the seven African countries which are which have which already own satellites uh, uh, on space are South Africa, uh, Nigeria, Algeria, Egypt, uh, Ghana, Morocco. Those are how many? Three, four, five, six. Kenya will become the seventh one. Apart from Kenya, two other countries are also working on their own satellites. These are Ethiopia and Angola. They are building their own satellites, which will soon be launched onto space. These are no, the satellites are commonly referred to as Earth Observation Satellites. And um, they are used mostly to monitor agricultural activities, erections, and natural disasters. So if a, a certain country has overlooked some, po uh, some portion of electorates or uh, citizens who should be voting are left out, then through a satellite it can be told or it can be known that there are some specific group of people in a certain place whom should also be registered to vote in the coming general elections. Nigeria has been successful in using their satellites. For example, in, uh, they have used their satellites to monitor the oil fields in Niger Delta. Uh, where there is a lot of conflicts about oil, oil privilege, people break the pipelines and connect that oil, uh, they, 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 they steal oil for uh, the black, black market. So through satellites they will be able to see the activities around the oil pipeline. Nigeria used the SATX and SAT2 to monitor Boko Haram in 2014. So that's uh, really a good application of satellites. South Africa also has been in this satellite business for many years, since 1999. The first satellite called Sunsat was launched in 1999, and uh, the second one called Sambandila Sat was launched from Kazakhstan, a country called Kazakh Kazakhstan, sorry. Kazakhstan is a country where South Africa launched their satellite called Sambandira, SAT. South Africa has its own national space agency called SANSA. SANSA means South Africa National Space Agency. So the, after launching the second satellite, after one year they created their own space agency. South African military is not left behind in terms of launching satellites onto space. They have their own satellite to take images, or weather images, whether it is at night or during the day, whether it is raining, whether nothing, every time, every time, South African military is taking satellite images uh, to help them in their correction of intelligence. Finally, satellites sound so cool, it's a cool idea that our country 
soon is launching a satellite onto space. It's a good thing we can post when we meet other African countries which do not have a satellite in space. But then these satellites have their own limitations. Number one, their magnification power is 2.5 meters. They can only see objects which are more than two, that 2.5 meters. Otherwise, how could you track uh, someone who has, uh, who has abducted an individual or a citizen? It will not be possible uh, to see them clearly. Who is this? Is this the person we are looking for? But for huge crowds of people, you can be able to track their movements using the satellites. The second disadvantage is that satellites, they are not stationed. They are not stationary. They are moving. They keep moving from place to place. So if uh, a crime happens in, for example, Mombasa County, God forbid, the satellite, if it is focusing on Mombasa, you will be able to see uh, that crime scene. Uh, that there are several people moving around in Mombasa County. But while the satellite is focusing in a certain region of the country, it will not be able to focus in another part of the country at the same time. The satellite has to keep moving in order to focus clearly on various parts of the country. Those are the two disadvantages or demerits that comes with satellites. Otherwise, this is good effort that the University of Nairobi and the Japanese Exploration Agency, uh, Space Agency, they are putting us on the world map of those countries which own satellites on outer space. Up to that point, thank you very much for tuning in to Kerosi TV. Before you leave, and since you are here, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscribing, you know, is caring. And also, uh, make sure you visit our website www.kerosi.com and also subscribe there. Make sure you get updates whenever we post a new article or fresh content on economy of Kenya and the world in general. Thank you very much. See you next time on the internet. I have to go home. Thank you.